Damaraland Desert in Africa is hot and temperatures can reach more than 50 degrees Celsius. So the best place to be is in the shade, the deep shade. Just like these guys have done. These are naked mole rats, and their habitat of choice is usually anywhere from two to three meters below the surface. These mole rats are lean, mean burrowing machines, and their energetic digging is serving a dual purpose. Not only are they constantly expanding their colony's labyrinth of tunnels, but at the same time searching for roots and tubers for the whole family to eat. While front excavator-type teeth loosen the soil, sharp smell sensors search for treats and their forelegs expertly push the sand behind them. The soil is eventually pushed to the surface, creating the many sand mounds on the desert floor. The rest of the family are resting in a communal chamber. The queen is in charge and the only one allowed to mate. Naked mole rats are blind and everything is done by touch and smell. This includes finding a mate, of which she, the queen, will have the pick of the bunch. He likes her smell. In fact, he's fallen head over heels. Courtship begins with mutual sniffing, touching, and eventual licking. But competitors might be lured into the fray with her enticing smells. And believing he's better equipped to be the father of her young, she's off with him. Leaving the first with just a whiff. The downside of being the only one allowed to mate is that by default she's the only one who gets to suckle the young. Though she rules her colony with her rods of ivory, the wrinkly queen will be a slave to her babies, giving birth to between 40 and 70 every year of her life, and she could live to the ripe old age of 20. So, as a result of her royalty, she could be the mother of a thousand. Life has further complications for a queen, as she knows that each female she sends on her way is a potential competitor for the crown. But still she continues to breed, because not only is she bringing up potential threats, she is also nurturing future subjects and workers, which she needs for the ongoing success of the colony. The queen is constantly fussing over her litter and spends a large part of her time transporting them from chamber to chamber within her colony. If she feels a particular area is not safe, she forklifts them up and moves them away to another chamber. Communal chambers are the most effective way that naked mole rats can use each other's bodies to maintain a constant temperature and therefore save their energy for important things like digging and breeding. It also means that the ever-vigilant queen can keep an eye on all her subjects and be alerted if other females try and mate. If another female was successful in attracting a mate, this would, in effect, mean that she is trying to take over the crown. For the naked mole rat queen, life is one long struggle between running a tight monarchy and the never-ending job of raising a large family. <laughs>